I want to do this morning is to tell you something good is going to come out of this. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Somebody say something good, something good is going to come out of this. I know this morning some of you are going through the greatest fire of your life. And it kind of hurts sometimes. Sometimes we as believers think that we should be exempt from pain and hurt. But I'm here to tell you this morning <coughs> that if God had to go through, mm -hmm. that we as children of the Most High God must go through. Amen. But one of the things I want you to know is that there are many fires that we're going to go through. Amen. Some of them, we call them pits sometimes. Yeah. Right. But the deal is, be thankful that you're going to the fire. Because many did not make it to the door. Many came straight to the door and died. But God said this morning, I want my brothers and my sisters to know that you made it to the fire. Somebody say, I made it to the fire this morning. Because see, right now, it doesn't look good, it don't smell good, it don't even feel good. But God said, you need to be grateful this morning that at least you made it to the fire. Yes. Because see, one thing about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they recognized that if they didn't stand for something, that they would fall for anything. Amen. So they recognized that the God that they serve, uh -huh. they begin to take a position. They begin to recognize that it's either all or nothing. Yeah. This morning, God wants you to be in a position of all or nothing. Because I'm here to tell somebody, 99 and a half just won't do it. God is saying to my brothers and my sisters this morning, I want it all. And so right now, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they begin to recognize that it's going to take everything that they have. And so one thing I love in the text, they said, even if our God don't do it, Amen. I just want you to know, O oh King, that the God we serve, yes. that is able this morning. Yes. I know yes. you came here yes. and you got right to the fire. Yes. But do you know the God that you serve? Yes. Do you know that he's able this morning? Yes. I know the devil thought he was going to quiet my mouth up. He thought when he brought me to the fire that I was going to get quiet.
Come on now. The three men that look like they wasn't going to be nothing. The three men that look like they shouldn't even think about making it. The three men, oh my God, that look like they should have died at the door. But I come to tell you that on the other hand, that no one expected you to make it this morning. No one expected for you to be sitting in the pew. But you need to tell your neighbor this morning. Yes, that they 
they had the robes on. Some call them robes of righteousness. They begin to stand in the midst of the furnace. They begin to look at each other and recognize that the same way we went in, this is the same way we're going to go out. That's why you got to start off good so you can end great. But if you start off wavering, you're going to end wavering. But they recognize that our God that we serve, that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly whatever I need. We know that he's able. So they begin to give the fire furnace. They begin to be in their back. They said they couldn't even supposed to move. But they tell me as they begin to turn the fire up, somebody say the heat is on. Because see, the devil thought he had you. But God came down and grabbed you. You know where God found you at. Some of you found you in the club. Some of you found you with the very man. Some of you found you with the very woman. But God found you. Somebody say, he found me this morning.
There's one thing I learned about when you're going through. When you recognize who's in charge. The Bible said that he will give you a way to glory. So that's why you see the shine. Come on, he needs some glory this morning. We need the glory to fall. Look good. 